Um, well, Lockie, welcome back, mate. Uh, is it nice to be in Adelaide again? Yeah, always nice to, to come home, um, especially with the weather. Uh, didn't really ease into it straight uh, off the plane and into 35 degree heat is, uh, is nice, but yeah, no, I'm enjoying being back home. And, and all set to come straight in and, and play the full night. I mean, you're obviously match fit, etc. Um, yeah, I think we're just waiting on uh, clearance um, from the UK. Obviously, uh, on the 14th, the window opens, so I think you need to wait till then anyway. So, um, but other than that, yeah, I'm fit and, uh, and ready to go, yeah. If you are cleared, have you had any indication of playing this weekend? Um, no, it was sort of a lighter session today. Um, obviously, had the day off and only trained a little bit. So, um, have spoken with Carl and stuff, obviously, about uh, positioning and things like that. But um, no indication as yet, no. Tell us about that positioning, what, what sort of role you will play, whether it is this weekend or into the future? Um, I think, obviously, with Benny leaving and stuff, it sort of leaves that, uh, that hole in the right wing area, which is obviously the position that I do play. Um, but I can operate centrally as well, so I think, yeah, for me, it, it'll be either one of those two. What about your time in the, in the Premier League? We, we see someone's going from the English Premier League, an English Premier League club back to the A-League. It doesn't happen too often. You obviously weren't running around in the, in the ones a lot often, but yeah. can you tell us about that experience over there? Yeah, no, it, it was really good. Um, Obviously, when they got promoted, it was a massive, really good thing for the club. Um, in terms of myself, uh, it makes it obviously a lot more difficult um, bringing in players and then obviously players that were out on loan staying and, and obviously having a bigger squad. Um, but yeah, being part of a, a team that's in the Premier League in any level is, is really, really exciting. So obviously did learn a lot of things training with you know, Premier League players. So yeah, hopefully I can and take those uh, experiences and learnings and bring it back here and, and apply it. I would imagine the, just the resources, the cars in the parking lot, everything's just <laughs> incredible, incredibly different. Yeah, no, it, it is like that. It's a completely different lifestyle. Obviously, it's the best league in the world. So, you know, the players are going to have those type of luxuries and, and things like that, um, which is awesome to see. I mean, it's almost a motivation. You walk straight through the doors and you see all those cars straight into the change room, you know, it makes you want to go work out work hard out on the pitch, so yeah, no, it's, it's good. Where are we going to see? What were you driving over there? I wasn't driving. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I didn't want to get a car there because I, I was close and uh, Ubers are cheaper there, so I just stuck with that. <laughs> Where are we going to see the biggest improvement in your game? Um, I think knowledge of the game. I think when you go overseas, especially in England, the pace of the game is probably one of the fastest in the world. Um, physicality as well. So I think, if anything, yeah, maybe just understanding the game I'm only young as well, so that's something that you know I've got a lot of time to work on anyway. So yeah, I think that side of the game for sure. Everyone's expecting big things from you. You've only played 10 games for Adelaide. <laughs> why? Why did you decide to come back? You were getting minutes in a in a really competitive uh, B team yeah. in England, training with all these great players. Why did you come back? Uh, for me, it's more about uh, professional minutes, playing men's football, which I was doing obviously over there as well. But yeah, for me, it's more about uh, I think when you're playing, when you're young anyway, I'm, I mean, I'm young, I'm not that young, but I think you need to be doing those professional games, uh, getting stats on the board and, and really putting yourself out there. So uh, for me, it was a, a no brainer to come home. I mean, it's just ideal that it's, it's back home, obviously in the A-League as well, um, which is still a really good competition. I mean, we've seen throughout the last couple of years, especially youngsters really proving themselves and playing games here and going on to do really good things. So I think for me, um, if I can do well here, it's a, it's a really good step. And obviously you want to get back though and locking and really cement yourself? Of course, of course, yeah. I mean, you never come back with uh, set goals like that, not doing things like that. So yeah, for me, I just want to do as best as I can, help out the club and obviously I'll be developing myself in the meantime as well. Was there other opportunities to go to not only other A-League teams, but we see a lot of Premier League players go on loan to the Championship or, the, or League One, uh, stay in the shop window, were those opportunities there? Um, yeah, there was a few things, um, but for me, it was more I wanted to go on loan to a place where I know I can develop myself in terms of playing football. Um, and I mean, you can go to a club and sort of get lost and not really develop. You can get 20 games, 20 apps, but you know, not touch the ball for 90 minutes. So for me, it was coming to a league where I know I'm going to develop my game in the best way possible. With Stefan potentially going to Japan as well, the number 10 role is probably becoming vacant. Do you see yourself in that position or do you think you and Bernardo are maybe going to swap and, and play both? Um, I was a 10 pretty much my whole life until around about 17, I think. So I definitely can play there and do enjoy playing there. I did play 
a little bit uh, 10 while I was back in England as well. So, um, yeah, for me, I don't really mind either or. Uh, but, yeah, I'm happy to do, do the both.